Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States and Mrs. Reagan. Mexico and the United States of America. residents of our countries is becoming somewhat of a tradition. And the rapport we build as individuals is in keeping with the finest sense of that valuable tradition. Our ability to meet and face to face discuss the issues of the day honestly and that is as one would expect between the elected leaders of two countries whose people by the millions interact with each other on a daily basis. 
Not only are our destinies tied, but in ways too numerous to count, our present as well, a common border and a common American heritage as well. The people of our countries, Spanish and English speaking alike, work together to ensure the peace and stability of our hemisphere. That is especially true in regard to Central America. Mr. President, I understand your deep concerns about the turmoil plaguing that region. We do not agree on everything concerning this situation, yet the level of respect in our relationship is inherent in our systems of government and embedded in the souls of our people. As you said in your book on constitutional law, while assessing Rousseau's influence. Liberty and equality are values incompatible with despotism of military cooperation with communist and other aggressor regimes. We appreciate the creative and energetic efforts to bring peace to the region by the Contadora Group in which Mexico, the conflagration in Central America appears too close to ignore. Like a fire in one's neighborhood, this threat should be of concern to every nation. I look forward to discussing with you, Mr. President, this issue of utmost importance. President Dela Madrid, earlier this, this year, and to protect democracy and independence in the hemisphere. Cooperation and respect between the United States and Mexico will do much in our efforts to promote peace and improve the standard of living of our people. superar obstáculos en la amplia y compleja relación entre nuestros países. Cumplo con gusto el encargo de transmitir por el digno conducto de usted al gran pueblo vecinos y amigos confiables y sabemos conducir nuestras relaciones con ustedes en el respeto mutuo de nuestra independencia y de nuestras concepciones culturales y políticas. Mr. President, I thank you and your distinguished wife for your cordial welcome. I effectively meet our responsibility to solve the problems and overcome the obstacles in the wide-ranging and complex relations between our two countries. It is with great pleasure that I transmit through you warm greetings from the people of Mexico to the great people of the United States of America and we know how to conduct our relations in mutual respect for our independence and our cultural and political concepts. El comercio y el turismo, el financiamiento y las inversiones, la intensa relación que se da en nuestras fronteras, el fenómeno humano y laboral de los trabajadores migrantes. We have learned to solve our problems with serenity and realism. Two peoples with different histories and cultures, with imbalances and disparities, bilateral relations, highlight our dialogue. Our talks will cover trade and tourism, financing and investment, the very close relationship between our border zones, and human and labor aspects of the Mexican work. Debo reconocer, señor Presidente Reagan, que esta disposición la he encontrado en usted y sus colaboradores. Su gobierno ha apoyado diversos programas financieros para la superación de nuestras dificultades económicas y ha estado abierto también a superar dificultades en nuestras relaciones comerciales. Debemos ampliar y enriquecer esta, esta actitud. Un actitud de diálogo y negociación. Nuestro intercambio de ideas rebasa el ámbito puramente bilateral. Ambos países somos miembros de la comunidad internacional y compartimos responsabilidades del continente americano. Both countries are members of the international community and we share responsibilities on the American continent. We are all concerned about threats to peace, the problem of the arms race. Dificultades especialmente graves que padecen las naciones latinoamericanas. La paz se ha roto en Centroamérica y crece el riesgo de un conflicto bélico general y alentar sus esfuerzos para la construcción de la democracia y el respeto a los derechos humanos. 
Apliquemos para ello los principios y las normas del de Also support the Central Americans in their social and economic development programs and encourage their efforts to build democracy and respect human rights. To that end, let us apply the principles and rules of international law established by the countries of the American continent. Self-determination, non-intervention, equality of state... Los modernos, sus pueblos y gobiernos, nos hemos obligado a poner en ejecución severos programas de ajuste económico para la estabilidad. Latin America is suffering the most severe economic crisis of modern times. Its peoples and governments have been obliged to implement harsh economic programs to cope with the situation. We are correcting the internal imbalances that come under our responsibility. Y fundamentalmente los países industrializados acepten que, siendo la interdependencia un hecho irreversible, el imperativo de la solidaridad no solo es deber... The imperative of solidarity is a duty based not only on ethics, but also on expedience. No dudo, señor Presidente Reagan, que en un clima de franqueza y cordialidad, nuestras conversaciones ampliarán el examen de estos temas y que también seremos capaces de encontrar nuevas soluciones a los problemas que nos interesan. Señor Presidente Reagan, muchas gracias por su afectuosa bienvenida. Mr. President, I thank you very much for your warm welcome.